Hey folks and welcome back to another video. Today as you can see we are covering the Armorfast Charmin Firefly in 172. This box contains two models as always with regards to Armorfast. Uh, very straightforward, quick build, Armorfast, name is in the title, clue is there as they say. So uh, it's in 172, very straightforward build, uh, minimal detail but yet enough to uh, to kind of satisfy most people I think, particularly me anyway, because I'm easily pleased. Uh, box art there, as you can see, uh, just shows a standard Firefly. Now the uh, model itself doesn't come with the whole machine gun, and it does not come with decals, decals or markings of any sort, which is unfortunate, but there you go. Uh, and that's basically it. The box is a box, you know. At the back of the box you have the uh, standard kind of armor fast uh, exploded diagram with about what is that about 15 pieces at a glance it takes all of about six seven minutes to put together very straightforward as I always say nice little model when finished I have to say as well um, I actually quite like this this is uh, for my son uh, so he uh, he has got me to do it in um, Humbro Mat 86 to match him with the rest of his uh, allied forces but as I say if I was in it myself I would probably use something else these days I'm using uh, Humbro Mat 159 for my stuff but anyway um, as you can see usual uh, warnings etc etc nothing particularly spectacular there so uh, let's have a look at the sprue while we're at it alrighty then so the sprue itself as you can see you have the main hull you have the uh, Underside there, you have the gun shield mantlet parts as well. Uh, you also have uh, obviously the turret tracks, uh, one piece track systems, which uh, I quite like, of course. And you have your 50 cal, and you have uh, your other various bits and pieces there on the left. All very good, that's fine, no problem at all. You have your 17 pounder gun, of course, which is the uh, the business end. That's really uh, what the, the, the Firefly was for. It was to get the bit more extra firepower there against the Tigers and Panthers and that of the uh, Wehrmacht and SS and so on. Um, and there's a the little uh, gun rest uh, thingy. I can't remember the exact title for that, but there is a proper name for it. Anyway, um, you've your little box at the back there as well, and that's really it. It's very straightforward. So from that perspective, um, as I say, it's uh, it's armor, it's fast, it does what it says in the tin, uh, or a box in this case. Um, one thing I like about it in the newer armor fast stuff, at least, is that you can have the uh, turret open, which is kind of cool, and they're giving you a 50 cal these days, which in some of the earlier ones, um, certainly the M4, anyway, they didn't. But that's the situation. So let's have a look at the actual completed uh, model itself, and you can see what you think yourself. Right back to you. So here is the completed model. Um, as I say, no decals uh, as of yet. I am uh, currently sourcing some aftermarket stuff uh, for these and for my American ones, so uh, they'll be put on at some point in the future. Uh, anyway, as you can see, model itself, fairly straightforward, paints up rather nicely. As I say, that is Mat 86 by Humbrol, and I think Mat 66 for the tracks and that, given a little bit of uh, shading with some uh, shading products, basically. Um, Citadel shading products, and that's really it. That's that's it's very simple, very straightforward. Wargaming or for the young fella, that kind of thing, very handy. Like the little bit of detail it's on it, I have to say. Um, not too shabby, in fairness. I mean, as I say, I never profess to be any good at all at painting, um, and these things are just cheap and cheerful. Keep it simple, you know, that's really what I like about them. Um, but I think it's a myself it's a really nice model actually um to be fair looks really nice and uh just really gets uh really does look like as it's supposed to i suppose a uh, a sherman firefly um i've seen uh, better and worse out there um but this for the uh the money is um actually quite good um i think this cost me about eight euros uh, plus postage so as i say the, the these fireflies are for the young lad and he was delighted so that's basically it. Anyway, um, that's the model, that's the completed model, and uh, quite happy. As I say, we'll do a size comparison uh, with, uh, with some other ones in a later video. Well guys, that was our review on the Armorfast uh, 172 uh, Sherman, I hope you liked it. Uh, I didn't do a size comparison, uh, as you saw there, because we are doing um, another three Armorfast Shermans. That would be the M4A2 with the 75, the M4A3 with the 105, and the M4A3 with the 75. Plus we've also done the uh, the other two videos in the, in, the, in the range, including this one, that's three. So, no point in doing a size comparison until I get to the end of the series, really. So... 
you'll see all of those um, married up together and compared to a couple of other brands as well. So if you'd be, uh, be so kind to check that video when it arrives, uh, that'd be great. And like and subscribe and all that business. So in the meantime, uh, we'll talk to you again and um, we'll be back with another uh, Armour Fast video uh, fairly shortly. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.